This presentation is intended to give you instructions for how to use the Zoom meeting as an attendee. If you receive an invitation, then you can join from a computer, smartphone, tablet, or landline by following the instructions above. The meeting ID is included in the HTML link. If you join from a landline, you can only participate by voice. Others will only see your phone number. We'll show how to change that to your name. Alternatively, using any browser, go to zoom.us, then click on Join a Meeting. If you have an account with Zoom, you can go ahead and enter your personal link name if you prefer, or just enter the meeting ID, then click on Join. It would be preferable if you downloaded and installed the Zoom app on your computer or your iPad or your phone, and that would be for the best experience. If you do have the Zoom app installed, then you can join the meeting using the app. You do not need to create an account to use Zoom as a participant. After selecting to join a meeting, you should see the above prompt. First, click Test Speaker and Microphone and Follow Instructions. Then, click Join with Computer Audio. At this point, you have the option to download and run the Zoom app. If you prefer not to download the app, and if you wait long enough, the next slide shows you other options. If you choose not to download the app, then click on Join from your browser. Refer back to the invitation that you received to get the password to enter here. Then enter the name that you wish to be identified by. Then click on Join. The icon at the top right of this window is for going into full screen mode. The bottom row shows several options. Be sure to click Start Video if your video is not showing in the panel. This is showing how your video would be displayed. If you do not want to see other people's video, then at the bottom click on More and then click Disable Video Receiving. If you click on the chat button at the bottom, you can then type messages to others or to the host in the chat area on the right. The host might have this option turned off. Click on the blue Everyone button to select who to send a private message to. For some webinars, the chat room is open at the start to allow people to announce themselves and is usually open to allow people to send questions to the host. It is not appropriate to use the chat room to talk amongst yourselves openly or in private. That is not the purpose of the chat room. Click on the down arrow in the top left of the window to either close the chat or to pop it out and away from the Zoom window. Notice the three small rectangular icons in the top left of your video window. These control the size of the window. You can actually move the window around by clicking and holding onto it and drag it to a new position. Click on the Participants button at the bottom to see this view. Notice that you can rename yourself at this point. You can also try to get the host's attention by clicking on Raise Hand at the bottom. Good luck with that!
If you are using the Zoom app, hover the mouse cursor in the window and you should see in the top right corner an option to switch from gallery view to speaker view. There is also an option to switch to full screen by clicking on the bracketed icon in the far right corner. You can leave the meeting by clicking Leave Meeting in the lower right corner of the window.